to day 27. Today we're going to start in a wide-legged child's pose. Knees come as wide as the mat, big toes touch. Sit back on the heels, melt your chest and forehead towards the mat. And relax the body. Close your eyes. We're going to take three breaths. Just becoming present on the mat, releasing all the stress going on around us. Let's start by taking a deep breath in through the nose. And completely empty out your lungs through the mouth. Do that two more times. Nice and slow and controlled breathing. Making room for new oxygen in those lungs. Last one. Go ahead and come up onto your elbows, keeping the forehead on the mat. We're going to lift the hands in a prayer position, coming to the nape of your neck. Now 
set the breath up with the movement. So it's kind of a diagonal kick as we breathe. And bring it down. Bring that left leg out, push back on that heel. Feeling a nice stretch through the calf. And we're gonna place that left toe out to the side and diagonal kick as we set the breath to the movement. And bring it in. Let's sit back on those heels just for a moment. Place the backs of the hands on the mat, straighten through those arms, and round through the back for a little bit more of a stretch. Take a deep breath here. And let's bring those hands down to the mat, fingertips facing us. Round through the back. Take a deep breath here. back to your tabletop and come right into your first downward dog. Lift the hips to the sky, pedal the feet, sway the hips side to side. Let's bring belly to thighs, turn the feet over to the left and straighten the legs. Bend, bring belly to thighs, come back to center. Turn the feet to the right this time. Straighten the legs. Come back through center. And we straighten those heels down. Belly to thighs. Straighten the heels down. One more time, belly to thighs. Straighten the heels down. We melt the chest towards the thighs. Lift the tailbone towards the sky. Putting more weight to our pointer fingers and our thumbs. As we lift the right leg high, breathing in. Exhale, we're going to pulse. Hold it here. Let's bring that right leg out to the side. Keeping everything else in line. And lift it back up. And let's step it right up. Lower down on the back foot and squeeze the inner thighs to slowly lift up. Reach the arms up overhead as we inhale. Exhale, place that left hand on the inside of that right foot as we twist open to the sky. Right arm to the sky. Curl the back toes under, lift that knee, keeping the hip in line, and we drop that knee down and lift. Drop and lift. Breathing, set the breath to the movement, and drop that back knee down. Lift the back foot, grab the toes, and sink into that front hip. You can turn and look back at the toes. Take a few breaths here. And gently release that back leg. Framing that front foot, we come into a plank. From here, we're going to turn on the outside of the left foot, inside of the right foot, coming into a side plank. Coming back through center. Drop the knees down, lift the heels, lower down, and lift for a modified push-up. Come back to a high plank. Turn on the outside of the right foot, inside of the left foot, side plank. Roll through back to your high plank, drop the knees, lift the heels, lower and lift. High plank, take it to the other side. 
outside of the left foot, inside of the right, open it up. Turn back to high plank, drop the knees, lift the heels, lower. Hop on up, turn to the other side this time, open it up. Come back to your high plank, drop the knees, lift the heels, lower, and lift. Come back, your downward dog. Take a deep breath, pedal the feet, swing those hips. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Melt the chest towards the thighs. Take a deep breath here. On your next inhale, inhale, left leg comes high. And then we exhale as we pulse. Go ahead and step it up. Lower down on that back leg, flatten that foot. Squeeze the inner thighs to lift up. Arms overhead. Big inhale. As we exhale, right hand comes inside on the inside of the left foot. Left arm reaches towards the sky. We curl the back toes under as we lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Last one. Drop that knee down. Pop up on the fingertips. Lift that back leg. Grab those toes. And sink forward into that front hip. Take a few breaths here. Gently lower down that back leg. Frame that front foot, pop up on the back foot. Come back to your plank. We're gonna repeat what we just did. Side plank to modified push up to side plank. So we open it up, rolling onto the inside and outside of the feet. Come back to your high plank. Drop the knees, lift the heels. Lower and lift, pop up. Turn to the other side, open it up, come back through center, drop it down. Make sure you're breathing. Last one. Coming back to your high plank and right to your downward dog, pedal the feet. Take a deep breath here. Lift up on those tippy toes, sink down on the heels. Lift up, sink down. Lift up, sink down. And let's lift that right leg high. Do like a dog, breathe in. Exhale, we're gonna come through the center. Three. Taps. Come right back up, breathing in. Exhale, three taps. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to step it up into a high lunge. Uh oh. Hold on. You should just shut off. What just happened? <sighs> Sorry. Come into your high lunge. that back leg lifted, arms overhead, deep breath in, we're going to exhale, left hand comes on the inside of that right foot, twist the right arm open to the sky, take a breath there, and then we're going to drop and lift on the back leg, hold on, come on abs, Ugh. Drop and lift, drop and lift. Keep that right arm towards the sky. Keep going, sorry, drop and lift, drop and lift, drop and lift. Frame that front foot, slide it back, come into your plank, high plank. We're gonna take a deep breath in, come forward, chaturanga or drop your knees down to modify. Exhale. Flip those feet open, open it up. Upward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, slowly lower down to your belly. 
We're going to lift up into locust pose. Legs, arms, and chest lifts. We push through the mat with our hips. We tighten our core as we lift. So let's take a nice, huge, deep breath in. Tighten the core and lift to exhale. Lower down. Big inhale. Tighten the core, lift. Exhale. Last one. Big inhale, tighten that core, exhale. Lift and lower. Hands under the shoulders, curl the toes. Come right back to your downward dog. Take a deep breath. Pedal the feet. Melt the chest towards the thighs, lift that tailbone. On your next breath in, left leg comes high. Inhale, exhale, we tap three times. Come right back up, three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, three taps. Back up, inhale, exhale. This time we step it up, high lunge. Keep that back leg lifted. Push back on that heel, squeeze the inner thighs. Lift up, arms overhead. This time, right hand comes on the inside of that left foot. Left arm reaches towards the sky, just open. And we drop that back knee down and lift. Drop and lift as you breathe. Frame that front foot. Slide that leg back, coming into your plank. One more chaturanga. Drop the knees down to modify. Use two blocks in front of those hands to modify. Deep breath in, exhale, lower. Flip the feet, open it up. Turn to the left, right foot comes behind us in the ball of that foot. As we lift the hips, open the chest, right arm comes back behind us. And we lower down. Turning onto our belly. Lifting up, straightening those arms, suspending on those legs, coming onto the tops of those feet and upward facing dog. We turn to the right, come onto the ball, the left foot this time, lift the hips open, left arm comes behind, deep breath as we sit down. Come on to our bellies. Cactus arm on the right side. Left hand comes under our shoulder. We turn and bring that left toe to the ground. Just take a breath here. And roll back onto your belly. Cactus arm on the left side. Right hand under right shoulder. And we turn and bring the right toe to the ground. Take a deep breath here. And come back to your belly. Hands underneath your shoulders. Curl the toes under, lift it up. Downward dog. Pedal the feet. Melt the chest towards those sides. On your next breath in, right leg comes high. Bend that knee, heel to glute, exhale. One more breath. And we bring it forward. Lower down on that bent leg. Slide back on that back leg. Pigeon pose. Fingertips come right in front of our legs. Turn. Bring the left hand behind and look back at that heel. Take a breath here. And let's switch sides. This time, left fingertips come in front. Turn, look over that right shoulder. And hands come back to the front. Curl the back toes under. From here, we can come right to downward dog, or you can come right into three-legged dog. 
You're going to lift it up and come into your three-legged dog or just a downward dog. Pedal the feet. Mount that chest towards the thighs. Lift that tailbone towards the sky. On your next breath in, left leg comes high. Exhale, bend that knee, heel towards glute. Take a breath here. And we're going to bring it forward, lower down on that bent knee. Slide back on the back leg. Walk those fingertips up. Turn, bring that right hand behind on that thigh. Look back at the heel. And come back through center. Left fingertips come behind. Look over that left shoulder. And hands come back up front. We're going to curl those back toes under. Again, you can meet me in downward dog from here or three-legged dog. And lower it down. Pedal those feet. Tailbone towards the sky. Deep breath in. And exhale. On your next inhale, right leg comes high. Exhale, we're going to step it right into warrior two. Turn and flatten on that back foot. Coming into humble warrior. Here you can use a block if you're still working on getting some height. So if you find that in humble warrior you're having a hard time opening your chest, you might just need a little bit more height. And that will allow you to open your chest a little bit more. You can also make it even higher if you need. Okay? So this is a good area for a block. Wherever you are, open up that chest, arm to the sky, and we're going to straighten on that front leg, coming right into a triangle. Bend back to humble warrior. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. This time you straighten. Both hands come to the mat. Left fingertips come to the mat and we twist the right arm open to the sky. Reverse triangle. Take a deep breath here. And turn. We're going to bend on that front leg. Come onto the ball of the back foot. Come into our warrior three. Find a nice flat back. Small bend in the rooted leg. Hands come to your heart. And then see if you can open up into airplane. Arms out to the side. Take a deep breath. And hands come back down. Step it up. Pedal the feet up. And let's slowly roll it up. Deep breath in. Arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive it down. Halfway lift. Bring those hands to your shins. Nice long spine. Opening the chest. Take an inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Take a breath here. Hands come down to the mat. We come right into our downward dog. Melting the chest towards the thighs, pedaling the feet, lifting the tailbone. On your next breath in, left leg comes high, three-legged dog. Exhale, we step it right into warrior two. Turn and flatten on that back foot. Place that hand on the inside of that left foot, and again we open up, humble warrior. If you have trouble there, use your block. Give yourself some more height to open up. Okay? You can also place it the long ways. Give yourself a little bit more height. From wherever you are, we're going to straighten on that front leg. Keep that chest open. Make sure you're not rounded. And we bend. Straighten and bend.
straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. And then we straighten, bring both hands to the mat this time. Right hand stays, left arm twists, open to the sky, revolve triangle. Turning, framing that front foot. Let's bend on that front foot. Turn on the ball of the back foot. And let's come into warrior three. Small bend in that front leg. Nice flat back. Find your balance, come into your warrior three. And bring your airplane arms out to the side. Take a couple breaths. Hands come down and we step it up into forward fold. Take a deep breath here. Slowly roll it up. Arms overhead. And hands to heart. Okay, that beeping is driving me crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, arms overhead, breathe in. Exhale, dive it down. Slowly roll it up, one vertebrae at a time. Breathing in, reaching the arms up, and exhale, hands to heart. Hold please, I need to break my dryer. Because that's gonna drive me nuts. Shut up, shut up. Sorry. Where were we? Uh, oh, I know. Balancing poses. Melt that left foot into the mat. We're going to reach the arms up overhead and lift the right knee. Straighten that leg and I want you to lift from the quad. Hold it here. Three breaths. And bring it down. Melt the right foot into the mat, spread it nice and evenly. Arms overhead, lift that left knee and straighten the leg, lift with the quad. Breathe, three breaths. And lower it down. Shake the legs out, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, dive it down. Halfway lift, nice long back. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Hands come to the mat. We step back into our high plank. Drop the knees down, coming into tabletop. Curl those toes under. We lift an inch off the ground. Deep breath in. Exhale, straighten it out into your plank and step it in. Straighten it out, step it in. Set the breath to the movement. Keep those knees nice and low. One more, and drop the knees down, swing it around, and we're going to move that out of the way. We're going to come into boat pose. If you struggle in boat pose, place a block behind you. That will keep you lifted. If you feel confident in boat pose, Find your sweet spot. Maybe you need to adjust your cheeks a little bit. Find that spot between your tailbone and your butt bones. Lift those legs. Tighten the core, lift the chest. Hands to heart. We're gonna to turn to the left, straighten the right leg. And come over to the opposite side. Don't give up. Uh, 
Hug it in. Deep breath. You guys did great. One more deep breath. I know, it's tough. Bring those legs up. Tuck the hands under the glutes. We're going to take a nice big inhale. Exhale. Right leg comes down. We round it right on up. Left leg comes down. Hover. Round it up. Set the breath to the movement. Slow, controlled movement. Really feeling the core do its work as you round that leg around. We're gonna do a couple at the same time. I know it sucks, but you'll thank me later. Remember? Test me on now, thank me later. Breathe in. Exhale, lower, hover, round them together. Lower, hover, round together. Set the breath to the movement. Two more, you got it in you. Your mind wants to give up before your body does. Remember that, hug it in. Take a deep breath, give yourself a little back massage, rock it back and forth. Bring the feet to the mat. Bring those hips out to the left. Drop the knees down, supine twist, left arm comes out. Look over towards that left hand. Breathe. You know, I love doing a twist every practice. There's good reason for that. It's how we keep our waists small and metabolism quick. Bring those hips out to the right, just an inch or two. Drop those knees down to the left. Bring that right arm out. Look over to that hand. Take a breath here. One more breath. Come on back through center. If you want to turn to one side and meet us in a seat, or we're going to rock and roll up to a seat. And meet us there. If you're not comfortable with rocking and rolling, it should feel like a nice massage on your back. Meet me in a seat. Sitting in an L formation, fix your booty, spread your cheeks. <laughs> We're going to bring our hands down by our side. And we're going to lift, lift, lift. And on the last one, point your toe and hold. Drop it down. Lift, lift, lift. Point the toe, hold it. Three breaths. And drop it down. Lift, lift, lift. Point the toe, hold for three breaths. These strengthening exercises um, you know, the balance pose we did where we lifted from the quad. These are all very vital to flexibility and balance. Take three breaths, holding the other side now. Bring it down, lift, lift, lift. Point the toe, hold. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Bring it down one more time. Lift, lift, lift. And the last one, point the toe, hold, three breaths. You might not feel anything now, but you will tomorrow, trust me. Now, we point the toe and we lift baby rainbow kicks over the opposite foot. 
without touching the ground and keep the knee nice and straight. If you find you kind of lean back, just breathe. Position yourself, I guess. <laughs> Point the left toe this time. Rainbow kicks over the opposite leg. Without touching the ground, keeping the knee nice and straight as you breathe. All right, last but not least, I like to end with a little flexibility. In each practice, you know this, coming into our middle splits. I like to do our middle splits a little bit more often because I feel like this will help us get into our left and right splits. So let's just adjust everything. Flex those feet. Make sure you're able to sit up nice and tall with a nice long spine. You know, we don't want to roll back. That means your legs are too far. Don't worry if your legs aren't a perfect line or you feel like they're only this far apart. That doesn't matter. That's where your body's supposed to be today. And you're not gonna injure yourself because we're gonna do it the nice, slow, patient way. Let's bring a block or a pillow or nothing in front of us. We're going to hinge from the hips. Melt the chest forward and relax. Take a few breaths here. Just hang out. And you know, I always say this, but this is a great way, way to watch TV or like Netflix or whatever. Take a few breaths. Yeah, those little strengthening exercises definitely help in flexibility and balance. Let's come out a little further. Melt the chest forward. It's very important that you strengthen your body just as much as you work on flexibility and balance. Just as important. The strengthening aids in the flexibility and balance. So it's just as a vital part and let's come out a little further. Hinge from the hips. Melt that chest forward and relax. Take a few breaths here. And let's slowly roll it up. Come on into a nice seated position, or if you want to end in your corpse pose, lying flat on your back, on your mat, nice and relaxed, I like to give you the choice. So we're either going to do a seated meditation, sitting up nice and tall, nice and comfortably, or you can lay back on your back in corpse pose, let your body melt into the mat, relax every part of your body. I want everyone to put their left hand on their heart, right hand on your belly. Close your eyes. I want you to clear your mind. Try to drown out any noises going on around you. I know we all have them. And I want you just to concentrate on your breath. Nice, slow, steady, controlled breaths. And let's start by taking a deep breath in through the nose and completely empty out your exhale. Continue breathing on your own for the next few moments, keeping that mind nice and clear. Go ahead and give yourself a nice big smile. 
Bring your hands to your heart. Gently open your eyes. And we're going to breathe in as we reach the arms overhead. Nice big breath in. Hands come together. We hold the breath. Look up at the top. And exhale. Bring the arms down. One more time. Deep breath in. Look up towards the sky. Hold the breath. And exhale. Arms come down. Hands to heart center. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me for day 27. We only have three more days left of yoga aerobics, and then we move on to Evolve series for May. I hope you all join me for that. Thanks again, and I hope to see you tomorrow for day 28. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.